Hi, my name is Mike, and I own uh, Mike's Carburetor Parts. Uh, you can find parts for most any carburetor on my uh, website at www.mikescarburetor.com or simply uh, do a Google search for uh, Mike's Carburetor Parts. Um, <clears throat> I've been doing a, a series of videos on the Holly 4000, and uh, we're now on uh, part three. Uh, part two was uh, assembling the uh, throttle body. Uh, part one was assembling the float ball assembly. And today we're going to take the uh, put together the air horn assembly, and we're going to hook it to the uh, float ball assembly. And uh, before the video, I uh, put this uh, gasket on, which is basically a piece of string. And uh, <clears throat> uh, I, I put a little uh, dab of glue here and there, uh, just so it will stay there, and I let it set up. I just want to do that. I didn't want to waste a lot of time on the video doing that. Uh, you got to cut the, cut the string, because they're usually too long. But anyway, that's going to form the gasket uh, right here to your uh, float bowl. Uh, first thing we're going to put on is a secondary venturi, uh, which goes right here. Um, you have two special screws, and they are they have a hole drilled in them, and that is so you can wire them together. You wire it up, and that'll keep them from turning. Okay, there we go. And uh, and you simply take a piece of wire, which should be in your uh, kit, at least my kits have one, um, and uh, wire the, just poke it through the hole and wire the two screws together. Just uh, be careful you don't get the wire on this side, because this is where it's going to seal with the float bolt. And, uh, I'm not going to waste a lot of video, video time getting this just right. I'll just get it poked in here and finish it. But basically you just want to wire the two together. You get the idea. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, so now let's take the float bowl. you got this gasket that looks like this. And uh, it goes right here. And you take the float bowl and uh, wire it out of the way. I guess I should have put it in. Okay. And this it goes like this. Okay, and you see where the string fits on. So and there you go. And uh, let's see, what did I do? I didn't get a screw for this. I'll bet. Yeah. Put this on first. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Make sure it sits down flat onto your throttle body. Uh, the wire is out of the way so that it doesn't uh, mess us up. Okay, the valve's open and closed real good. All right, now on your uh, float bowl assembly, you put this gasket on here. And we will slide it in there. There we go. All right, so you have to fish your accelerator pump uh, shaft through the hole there, and uh, your uh, whatever you call this thing, never have figured it out, uh, goes in this hole. All right, so now we got that, and uh, we have a long bolt that goes down in here. We're going to get it started, and it's going to kind of hold it all together. Okay, I'm going to get everything started before I tighten it down. Then you got this bolt here that 
uh, goes up from the bottom. Like so. Alright, now before I tighten it, I want to look at everything. Choke is going to work. Uh, we're not sitting down here. I see it's open. That's probably because we got to tighten this screw down underneath. Yeah, there it's sucking it down pretty good. Okay, your uh, your little string gasket is uh, in there just right and not sticking out anywhere. Okay. All right, so well, there you go. I keep looking and checking things to make sure I haven't forgotten something. Okay. So uh, that uh, takes care of getting your float ball, your uh, air horn, and your throttle body together. So, uh, and of course I forgot to put on the uh, secondary tubes. <laughs> okay, we're putting in the secondary tubes. Uh, the short curved part goes to the bottom. And they go in like this, touch the carburetor, both them on like this. And I should say both go on like this. There. Make sure it gets in the hole, right? Um, I've loosened up the top here. I've taken the screws out of the top so that I can uh, fish these in like they're supposed to go. Okay, there we go. You feel just about right. You can see how what they look like right here. And eventually we will put this on. So this is how they got to line up, just like that. So I'm going to get some screws on the top before it all falls apart on me. Okay, so now we got the tubes in there. So now let's get the uh, screws back in here. Um, this one goes in here through the survivor body. We have this extra long screw that goes through the bottom here. down like it should. There we go. All right. Let's try it again.
sure everything's in there like it should be before I get it too tight. Okay, and you can see the float bowl got sucked down to the uh, air horn. All right, so we got this together. Uh, choke valves are loose and working. Brawl shafts are loose and working. We got our um, accelerator pump shaft through there. And uh, I think these are lined up. They seem tight. And we got this little clip that's going to hold it all together. Okay, I'm going to need a screw for this. And, uh, well, I'm going to find a new screw, but basically that's that's where it goes. Screw it on, and you're done with that. I'll, I'll uh, get that on there after the video. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll stop this video here for now, and then I'll get stuff ready and move on to the next part. Thank you.